looking back to our first meet review, which is Ben's review, um, we can see Clifford's comment here. So it says, um, would really love a video that includes technique on each event. Maybe you can break down the strokes, efficiency, yes and not, at on interview. Okay. And Ben also um, replied, so definitely going to do some shorter race breakdown videos. Um, thanks. So today I'm going to do my first race breakdown. So I'm looking to a an older meet that I swam when I was 11 years old. Um, so this competition is the Hong Kong Shot Course Swimming Championship 2016. This is the SCM 50 meter fly event. This with me. I'm just gonna let you watch it for a little bit. And I'm gonna talk about some techniques and stuff later. I came first in the heat. I went a 32 to 5 here. And uh, I came fourth overall. So the Hong Kong Swimming Championship is um, the highest level of the swimming competitions here. So we have four tiers. We have Division 3, 2, 1, and the championships on top. So we have short course championship in March and long course in uh, November each year. And on top of that, we also have open championships in August in which uh, there is no separated uh, age groups. So like everyone just compete no matter the age as long as they can I say meet the qualifying times. So now let's first look at the start. Right. Let's gonna start right here. So for a start, you can see my back leg. It should be a 90 degrees, which is what you're looking for in a start. Um, so over the years, things have have changed a lot, like including my techniques and stuff. You can compare this to my starts I showed you yesterday in my meet review video. Um, so we can slow down the speed. And so from yesterday's video, you could see me. Um, pulling back or arching a bit um, when I hear you take your marks, but for this, I didn't really move. Yeah, I kept stabilizing, stabilize here. And upon the beep sound, see how my movement go. So I pull down a bit, um, trying to use my um, arm arms to push myself forward as well and then head reaching out and arms reaching out and then this is a rather curved body posture and before dropping in this curve is what you're actually looking and I guess I have to uh, lift my hip and legs up a bit, as you can see from this. Actually, it dropped right there. I'm not sure if you can see it. Um, so it's, the hip is still up, and suddenly the whole lower body just kind of dropped there. And you don't want to see this because 
I'm gonna go flat down the water and that's not gonna splash a lot. So there it's so too flat over there, so like imagine falling into the water like this. Even though you have that momentum from here to here, still gonna go flat down there. So can I take a look at the anchor? Yeah, I can my whole hip and my core just gonna drop there. Um okay once again I wanna make it clear that everything that I'm talking about, every techniques that I'm talking about here, I'm just uh, like going through what I did four or five years ago and that's not necessarily uh, what you should be aiming at like um, different techniques work for different people in different ways so like um, what I'm saying may not be the best that you could do to improve your stroke so maybe you can take your time to like go through more of your own races and like learn more from other people and see what works best for you so and go back to the normal speed here just gonna, now we're gonna focus on the underwater so we're gonna look at mine first one two three Okay, so eight underwaters, and that's what I used to do because um, the drag in underwater is much less than that when you're swimming because there's only friction between your body and the water instead of having friction between your body with both the water and air. So um, doing eight underwater kicks was what I used to do. Um, I moved on to doing only six right now because um, I talked about it with my coach and we said, we discussed on it and say um, such short events, you're not going to waste time in some underwater spot. I think I got a double think on this, like maybe I got to move up back to seven or eight, but yeah, I can't wait to get back to the pool and try things out. So. Now we're gonna see. By this moment, this girl right here already came out of the water surface. And you can see by this time I was already here. And she was here. So like lacking a meter. And then you can see okay, more people coming up are still here. And even more goes here. And everyone was up basically except for me. And this is the ten meter ten meters uh, uh line. So by this moment I was up and and see, uh, I was in front of most people. Uh, kind of the same level here. Um, but we can count on my strokes. So, how many strokes are required to reach 25 meters? So, one, two, three. Nine. So nine strokes to reach 25. And we're gonna look at this girl who came up the water first. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So thirteen versus nine. So basically, I saved four strokes on the first 25. That's what you want to do in a race, like save your energy because you can compare doing underwater and fly. Underwater is not as tiring, right? Totally. And 
that first saves up energy and second speeds you up. So I think underwater is quite, quite, quite important here. And we're gonna go back to the start and my breathing pattern. So one, two, three, breathing on the third stroke and then two, three again. Two, three, okay. So that's a three, three, three pattern. And I breathe on the last stroke. I think one thing I can improve here is by doing three, three, two, one here. So um, I can keep it the same here. So one, two, three, same, one, two, three, same. And I guess I can do a no breathe and then breathe on the second last stroke and don't breathe on the last stroke so that um, I can have more momentum to go forward towards the wall and make the turn transition even faster. Okay, so let's look at the turn. Yeah, that was rather quick. That's good. Um, there's still rooms of improvement, but that's pretty great. And you can see the underwater. One, two, three, four. Okay, three or four there. And I breathe on my first stroke. That's not really what you want to look for in a race. Okay. And now let's talk about techniques. So, my kick first. Um, you can look at my legs. They're not powerful at all. Not powerful at all. I'm not uh, like using it to its full use. So, that's one major thing I can improve on. Okay, so both my kicks are not powerful um, and I really have to work on that and let's look at my hands the enter I guess they're slightly too close together so instead of going very close together I'm trying to like make them shoulder length so that you can once you enter the water, you can catch the water real quick as it is a sprint event. You want to keep things quick. So, yeah. And, um, I'm going to look at the hand time. My hip position uh, could be a slightly higher, but it's alright. to improve that. And also, um, Sorry. Um, I can lower. I should lower my head earlier, so like I can use that force to pull my whole body forward. And the chest press could be more um, significant. Like I should press myself forward more so upon finishing I didn't breathe on the last two strokes that's good and so I'm gonna go through it one more time from the beginning to so here are the things that go flat down and start to more underwater, if that's your thing, which is what I think is very important. Um, don't breathe on your last stroke upon turning. Take your body low throughout the turn. Don't breathe on the first stroke. Keep your legs powerful. Um, hands entering not too close together for a faster pull. Higher hip position. Push yourself forward or the chest press and then um, 
uh, just touch the wall without breathing on the last stroke. So these are some few major points that I'd like to um, inform you guys and I hope these tips really help you out and please remember what works best for me is not um, the same for you. So remember to try things out before saying anything is bad or anything is the best. So yeah, um, in this competition I came first in my heat and fourth overall which was a very memorable race of mine and yeah thank you for watching and stay tuned for more upcoming videos like our zoom calls and more race analysis and meet reviews thank you and keep grinding see you next time